The Reverend Lawrence Borges, who was instrumental in the reopening of St. Albert the Great Church in Weymouth three and a half years ago, stepped down Sunday as pastor. The occasion was the 50th anniversary of his ordination as a priest. He is not retiring, but said the parish, revitalized and thriving, needs a younger priest now. Father Borges, who was 78, was assigned to St. Albert in June 2005 when the Archdiocese decided not to close the church after all. In 2004, parishioners had begun a 10-month vigil, vowing to remain open after the closing was ordered. Thank God St. Albert's Great Parish was reopened. And we're indebted to Cardinal Sean O'Malley for doing that. And he was able to realize that the parish should not have been closed in the first place. That it was a viable parish, it was a good parish, everything was going wonderfully well and so it should not have been closed. So he was able to uh, rectify that mistake and thank God. Now the transition period is now over, so my work is done here, and so I go on to another parish. I wanted them to have a younger priest. I was 78 last Tuesday, and they need a younger priest there. So thank God they got a younger priest, Father Sopa. So he's... Uh, He's 45, he's very smart, and he's very nice. And where will you be going now? To St. Gregory Parish in Dorchester for a short assignment there. They'll be getting a newly ordained priest in June. So I'm just filling in because two priests have retired from there recently. I think the take home message is the reason people love him so much, not only just because he's, he's him, but because he's so instrumental in, in reestablishing us as a parish and, and getting us reopened and with all the parishioners in helping us get reestablished as a parish. Everyone loves him, everyone welcome back with open arms. He was here previously. Mm -hmm. The wonderful thing about Father Borges is that he um, actually was responsible for us being reopened. He actually orchestrated a meeting, um, Cardinal Sean and um, some members of our parish council to make sure that um, the, the Cardinal heard what we were all about when we were in vigil. And he facilitated that whole thing. The Commonwealth of Massachusetts House of Representatives be hereby known to all that the Massachusetts House of Representatives offers a sincere congratulations to Father Lawrence J. Borges in recognition uh, and celebration of your 50 years of service in the Catholic Church, your dedication to the St. Albert's Parish, and your commitment to the people of Weymouth and the community. Who is the speaker of the Pope's for this son? <laughs> We've had a change in leadership. Uh, <laughs> I'm not quite the speaker of the house yet. But, uh, this is signed by Speaker Salvatore de Macy, and he's passing it off to a fellow Italian, uh, Robert Galeo. This has become a collector's item with the Macy's signature on it. I really did not have the wonderful advantage of knowing Father all that well, but I feel I do through his friends and his parishioners. They speak often of you so kindly and, and with such revered memories and I, that I feel I get to know you. I threatened you. <laughs> he says he threatened you. I don't believe it. <laughs> Congratulations on your 50th year of ordination after being ordained on February 2nd, 1959. I think I was nine, Father. <laughs> the town of Weymouth would like to thank you for your extraordinary service to the members of this parish. This is Sue Scheibel, staff reporter for the Patriot Ledger and Gatehouse Media New England. For more coverage, see today's edition of the Patriot Ledger or go to patriotledger.com.